Welcome to the One Body, One Life podcast. Hi, I am your host, Dr. Jason Wan, lifestyle physical therapist. What we do is we help high achievers eliminate pain, get stronger, and get back to a more active and robust lifestyle. And today I wanted to share a very simple model on how to continue to build muscle and make strength gains. And so this model here that I'm going to show you has helped me not just even 5X the weight on my pull-ups, but also 3X the weight on my dips. Yes, you heard that. When I first started using this exact model, which I'm going to define and title this in just a bit, I was able to go from a 25 pound pull-up and now doing 125 pound pull-ups at an eight rep max. And I was also able to go from a 45 pound dip and now I'm able to do three plates and more and still progressing using this model. This model has also been shown to high school kids. Yes, you've heard this. This model is simple enough for a high school ch child to actually know how to use. And a lot of the people that I've taught have also increased their strength like crazy, insurmountably. And also I want to show you lastly, by the end of this podcast, is to ensure that you have a meaningful way of progressing and actually documenting this progress as well. So this model here is called the double progression model. And this is a model that I've taught to, to well over a thousand clients and it still works still today. So what you're essentially doing is you're using another way for the double progression model is called the two plus two rule. And basically what you're going to do is for any given exercise, you're going to obviously assign yourself a certain amount of sets. You're going to assign yourself a repetition range. Very important that you set a range. And then therefore with that range, every time that you hit that upper rep range, you want to increase weight. So let me give you an example with a barbell squat. I'm going to give myself three sets of six to eight repetitions. So this is a very narrow rep range, which means that I'm going to try to essentially on this training split, I'm going to try to increase weight faster. If you gave yourself an eight to 15 rep range, then you're saying to yourself that I want to stay at a given weight longer. So with the six to eight uh, repetitions that I assign myself, if I do three sets of six at a hundred pounds, the next time that I do that exact exercise, I'm going to try to aim for two more repetitions. So I'm going to try to aim for three sets of eight repetitions. And let's say I do, and likely you should, because with obvious consistent strength training, you should be able to tolerate more volume and also tolerate more intensity over time, which in other words means that you should be able to tolerate more repetitions or tolerate more weight respectively. So if I'm doing now three sets of eight at hundred pounds, the next time that I do that specific exercise, which is the barbell squat, I know that I hit the upper rep range last week or whenever I hit that. So now I'm going to go three sets of six, which means I'm going back down to the lower rep range. And then therefore I'm going to increase weight. Usually for lower body on average, people can progress anywhere between five, 10, or sometimes for the more experienced, you can even increase 20 pounds as the double pro progression model. Usually I strain more to the five pound to 10 pound range. So if I'm at a hundred pounds on the previous two exercises or the two previous workouts, I'm now going to do three sets of six at 110 pounds, for example, and then eventually three sets of eight at 110 pounds. And then you go back down again, three sets of six, then at 120 pounds. So this gives you a very predictable model on how to continue to increase weight. A common question I get from a lot of my clients is if you continue down this route, can you just continue to increase weight and increase repetitions over and over again? And so the truth here is that no, everybody has a specific genetic limit. I think that a lot of people, you have to refine form and technique. I think that you have to also take into account how well you sleep as well as your nutrition as well. So I think that a lot of those play into those factors on, can I just continue to increase weight infinitely? And so it depends on your genetics, depends on how fast you recover. And a lot of times, yes, uh, as far as form and technique and proper training protocols will define how far that person can go. And there are a lot of people that are a certain weight, but they can possibly lift four to five times their body weight because again, proper training, proper recovery. Okay. So 
for that matter, though, even at the age of 35, I'm continuing to increase my weight on specific compound lifts like squat, bench press, deadlift, lunges, and many other exercises. And for that matter, it's because of the consistency, it's because of how well um, recovered I am from the point of sleep as well as nutrition. Okay. The next thing I want to tell you about is, is as far as this model, you want to apply again, a repetition range, and you always want to increase your weights. Once you hit the upper rep range, there are a lot of protocols, but I find that this double progression model is by far the easiest and the simplest one to learn so that you can continue to make gains for months and even years and possibly even decades down the line. Now, how do you actually make this progress is to actually track this. So. Um, when, when I was looking at, um, there was one time I looked at even like Bruce Lee's, believe it or not, if you look at Bruce Lee training, um, you can actually look up Google images and actually see that he was actually writing on a piece of paper, his exact repetitions, his exact amount of sets and the exact amount of weight. And I was like, okay, if a legendary, if a le legendary martial artist is also logging his weights and logging his reps, why shouldn't we? And so there are a lot more advanced technologies than what Bruce Lee had. Now we have apps. Now we have a lot of trackable data. We can use spreadsheets. So I actually, for myself, I use a mixture of spreadsheets. So I put my entire training split onto a spreadsheet. I label the columns as week one and week two, week three. So I'm progressing. And I also assign myself the name of the exercise, the sets, as well as a repetition range. So then I pre pop, not pre, I post populate all of my data onto the spreadsheet. I also use an app, which is called FitNotes on Android. And I actually have been logging in this specific app for well over 10 years now. So when I show my clients this, they're very surprised. I've been logging actually all my data since 2014. So that's a lot of data that you can always look back at in order to continue to one up yourself. And this data uh, really shows once you do like a barbell squat, it shows you what you've done even years ago, but it even shows you what you just did last week. And so my favorite saying that I say to my clients is what can't be measured, can't be managed. And as a physical therapist, but also a strength training athlete, but also was a former math major, I was a math major in UC Davis, is the fact that if you don't measure, if you actually don't log your data, there are plenty of clients or plenty of people that I have tried to train, or let's say I, I know them, but they have not made any gains for months and even years. They're still stuck on the same weight. They're still look the same. They still perform the same. If anything, they're declining because they're getting older. So having the documentation really not just keeps yourself accountable, but again, you allow yourself to follow this specific double progression model that I just put out. So when you start logging and I understand that some people are going to have that mental mindset of it's too much work to track. It takes up too much time. I know a lot. I've heard all the excuses down the line, but it's well worth it to spend five, 10 minutes to learn how to track, to force yourself to track, to try to make it a habit so that maybe months down the line, you'll notice that your squat goes from hundred pounds and now you're at 175. And like I said, within eight months, I went from a 25 pound pull-up and now I'm doing 125 pound pull-ups. And this is literally within one year of just brute consistent effort. Okay. So that's all I wanted, wanted to share with you guys today is the double progression model but also finding either an app or even just using a spreadsheet, or if you're very old school, even just using a notepad, write your, write the name of the exercises, assign a set, assign a repetition range. And every time you hit the upper rep range, log that data, but then drop your reps back down and therefore you increase the weight. Okay. And uh, there are a lot of ways or a lot of protocols in order to increase intensity, but I think that weights and repetitions as well as frequency as like as well as sets, those are the easiest things to document. And I think I encourage you after listening to this podcast to really put pen to paper virtually or physically so that you can really see the gains and start to see that you're actually building muscle. You're getting stronger as you get older. And this is something I've been following for literally a, almost 10, 11 years now, even prior to becoming a physical therapist. And I still apply these principles today. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you have any questions, feel free to feel free to drop a comment or even drop a rating. Drop ratings, you can also drop ratings on YouTube Music, on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts. I greatly appreciate if you found this valuable to continue to share my podcast or even share a five-star rating. That'd be greatly appreciated. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, Jason at FlexorDoctorDay.com. You can also text me at 415-965-6580. A lot of ways to uh, message me as well as my team. 
And that's it, what I got for this training. I'll leave you always with how I always leave things. We only got one body, one life. Make every action you take be one that makes you a better version of you. Take care.